What's happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So let's go, uh... See what this place is all about. It's definitely weird. Or festive melody. No, no, don't skin me. My height is filthy, I swear. Alright, so yeah, it sounds like these aren't nice ladies. Hey, can I dance too? Hey, can I dance too? I don't know if you don't... Fun time's done! <laughs> this is about to be really bad, I feel like. Um, I'm gonna try and be a cheeky lad. Oh, by the way, uh, I got another level. I'm, um, I'm gonna get stamina up so that I can wear my, my armor set along with this sword. So, I mean, more stamina shouldn't hurt because I'm only at 20 stamina. Um, I hit 20 stamina through my, my thing that I'm using, so... I'd like that to be a little bit higher. I think getting it up to 25 sounds pretty good. 25 stam, 45, uh, 45 vigor. And then we're probably just gonna pump faith until I'm done. Ladies, your attention please. I would like to introduce you to the Flame of Frenzy. some uh, some big brain time right there axe standard DD wild strikes do crafted from human bone grants trace amounts of runes upon landing attacks I got like how many runes are we talking I said trace amounts are we talking like like one rune per hit or something or, uh, or what I mean that it's cool. It's it's gimmicky, but I don't know. Hitting hitting people and getting ten runes per hit. I mean, I'm sure over the course of the game. If you were to add up every time you'd hit R1, it'd probably add up to quite a pretty sum, but I mean where I'm at now, let's just do the math real fast, so. I have, I need 56,000 to level, so, um, 5,600, yeah. Over 5,000 swings for a single level. How did I get so strong in Elden Ring, you ask? 20,000 swings. Every day. Character looks like, uh, Quagmire in that episode of Family Guy where he comes out of his house and he's done nothing but like masturbate for just weeks. This has one arm that's just completely jacked and the rest of him is like shriveled and dry. This thing's not bad, but I definitely like the other sword better. Um, 
I'll probably use it through this episode and then go back. I think that my big thing with this is the other sword comes out fast. The weapon art on this is it's okay. It just uh, it takes a lot to. The weapon art takes a long wind up. Oh no. You do seem to get some poise as you swing it. Ancient Dragon Knight. Oh, it's a shield guy. Free immunity while you did that? Dead. Yeah, I think that's I think that's enough of that sword for me. It's just it's too slow, you know? Uh, if I was like hyper armor and poise and everything else to where I could just face tank while casting it and like it hit hard we got I mean I don't need to be honest I don't even know how many how much we got there with the if you were to add the um add the fire tick in I, I think it was 1500 Does 900, <laughs> so two hits. I'm just see, I'm just getting interrupted. I can't get it off. That's something sucked though. Back to my other summon. Oh, you know what? Uh, hang on. First off, uh, Oleg. I mean, given they weren't leveled up, the, I don't know. The tank one, maybe he could do something. What else would I want to put here? What do I want to put here? You can just hit start menu for messages. I 
That'd be good. I can just I have a head count on how many I have. Um. Shit. Alright, so I barely touched it. Feeling that would work. That <laughs> that was pretty fucking cool. Good job, my fellow minion. A god skin peeler. Fucking finally! Oh my god. What's the peeler? Twin blade with black flame tornado EC scaling. Mm, okay. Makes me feel a little funny in my pants. Ladies, if you would gather up, please. damage off the weapon art and this thing isn't leveled up uh, let me see uh, pure physical C scaling decks I'm curious what the uh, the poise lock on it is. Like, could I could I stagger lock a big boy with it, or is that just the death sentence? You know. And I got my new spell. I'm not gonna forget about my new spell. It's just we were literally talking about how we haven't seen a twin blade the entire game, and we finally found one. And now I'm like, what to do? I mean, the stat oh, is only 152. It's kind of impressive damage for 152. Let me put on the spell while I'm here. See if it's good. See if it's good. Is it good? Or is it dookie? Sweeps area before the caster with black flame. Sweeps a wide area. Charging enhances the range. Because of the hill? Yeah, it is. I don't get what's happening with this thing.
I'm gonna hope that it's an elevation issue. Like, I don't know, when we were just using it, it felt like it was struggling to hit the enemies, like it was going too high. So that's just a standalone windmill. More windmill ladies. There might be something over there. I mean, it's distinct enough to be by itself. Very rarely is there an area where it's isolated, but... Y'all, let me grab my loot and be gone. Twin Knight Swords, and alright, so maybe Hood and some good shit. Gotta get that, alright. The Windmill Town is knocked out. Oh, this swamp. West windmill pasture, so there's a bunch of these. Giant rat ashes, ah. So there are some in multiple giant rats? That sounds kinda cool. I don't know how useful they would be, but still. There's a bunch of rats fighting for me. Uh broken bridges. Broken bridges always got loot on them. Let's go check that. Just that. Looks like a NPC. Juicy, bro. Crazy, just like, oh yeah, here's one little NPC just standing out by himself. Oh, yep, he has loot. And here's somebody on a bridge by themselves. More loot round two? I can't target them. What is... Oh, you were in the intro. The gold face. You for the grease? <laughs> Fucking weirdo, dude. Uh, alright, so. Oh, wait a minute. Go we'll get that. I was gonna say, I think we're, we've done everything we can, and then sure enough, there's a little bugger. So, with the, I thought, I for some reason, I was like, oh, this is all going to be... No, so this must be just rocky area, and then... I know there's 
something out here because we got teleported out there. So we did the windmill stuff. So Altus Plateau itself isn't that big. We knocked that out in what? One, two, three, four, five episodes roughly. Well, I guess probably six, seven, eight, maybe if you add that zone in. But we're heading there in a bit. And we didn't do any of this, which that's, this is gonna be boom, boom, boom. And then the whole city, that's gonna be the, the juicy, like, all right, here we go. Sorry, our Storm Barrel Castle. There's like a whole another windmill village. We didn't hit this. Oh yeah, no, I ran by. I remember her like alerting everybody and me being like, what a weirdo. that little thing that I just saw. Yeah, I was up on the bridge. Here it is, next to me. Went a little bit too far. Protection of the Erd Tree. I mean, buff magic is good. It just doesn't last long. It's weird to me that that guy is by himself in a swamp with all those slugs. I'm wondering if he is a kill him and you get a spell type deal. I do like seeing, I mean, it, it takes a while to rack that up, but that is, that's the kind of weapon art damage that I want to see, you know. None of this piddly, oh, I hit him a few times bullshit we've been doing. Uh, oh, cool. Where I jumped up, I can just take that to right on out to Volcano Land. Well, let's head this way and... Actually, this is exactly what I wanted. Y'all have some poise. Come here, please. and less attractive as an option. Wow, dude. These guys are smart. From behind. Let's see, ruins and a church. Um, let me find a grace before we wrap. And then there's a caravan, I'll want to tackle that too. Either I die or you all die! I mean, it's, I don't know. It's... 
My thing is, sooner or later, something's gonna poise break while you're like, oh, and you think you're you're unstoppable, and then all of a sudden you're not. So. That's not good. Okay, well, I mean, still though, dude, come on. I have God Slayer Talisman. I should be nuking. It's like, let my soft wave of death wash over you. I could do that six or seven times, or, or, watch this, for a fraction of the cost. Look at that, a spell that actually works. What a concept. I kill them, I'm getting flasks back. Come here. I didn't get flasks. That's, uh, that's really surprising. I mean, I should be okay still to... Oh, that's weird. I didn't even have to kill the giants. I just, like, killed their commanding officer. Great stars. Pumpkinhead has planted the banner. He has challenged me to mortal combat. And who would I be to not be stomped in kind to his challenge? Ow. They knew. They were like, ah, oh, man, this dude, he's the killer of convoys. He already took out Jeff and Louie. Just let him, let him do what he wants. We don't want to mess with this guy. He's bad news. La Oh, I do want to go. So that, that looks like the official welcome to Volcano Town. Which that is what we want. Um, did I ever do these? Hey, hold up, I thought it looked like it was... I swear I was looking at other ruins or something a second ago while I was fighting. It might have been ruins I already did though, so... No, was there like ruins like right here? I already killed enough of y'all. Go away. Ride the blood. Nah, I haven't been here. That's sure. Uh. And if I'm gonna do it, uh, here we go. Is this a boss? Sanguine Noble. Bro, weren't you from Bloodborne? Why are you here?
Damn. My guy just- that's- that's embarrassing. I walked in here with one heal, empty flasks, and was just like, you know what? It's gonna- How about I just bend you down? He was like, oh, I am the- Oh! No, please! Please use lube! Black Helisai. Let's look at the goodies. What do we get? Heavy thrusting sword. That's cool. Ominous piercing sword with a winding blade carried by noble servants. Dynasty's finesse. Nimbly avoid an attack, securing some distance. Follow up with strong to perform a lunge. Strong again for a slicing sweep. And then we got twin knight swords, which is the other twin blade. Two twin blades in one zone. That's cool, though. It's like a, it's a, it's a heavy rapier. Um, blood loss buildup DD scaling. I could actually use that. Um, neat. I wish I had gotten some flask for killing his ass. Oh, we found the windmills. Um, I really need to kill that giant blood thing before we leave. Because I don't know if there's loot attached, but if there is, I get it for killing that thing. And we did the boss. Or a super, super dog will come up and get me. I mean, I was, I was pushing my luck. Oh shit, there's a stake here? Okay, well, game over, I win. I keep forgetting about stakes. Because, you know, I'm always like, fuck, well, can I really... Can I push on? Like, I'm kind of, kind of on the low side health-wise. I don't know if it's really safe for me to push any deeper. You know? Wow, 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 wow. Wow, bro. How many, what was that? 45,000 souls the gone by dogs? These things are insane. Like, Jesus. I need to find a summon for those. Hyper instant bleed dogs. Those things are terrifying. Like that, I almost feel like that's bugged. Like they just, they deal damage so fucking quick. And what's weird is like, so my bleed isn't that high. And then they, it's like, it goes from like, oh, you know, you're bleeding a little, you're bleeding a little, you're dead. And I'm just like, what? the saving graces. I don't really need levels right now. At this point, levels are more just like supplementary. You know, like, oh, yeah, I guess I could use some more stamina. It wouldn't hurt. And then after that, it's just going to be... Yeah, just... What the fuck, dude? It literally just instant killed me. That's That's got to be bugged. I'm going to have to grab a clip of that. And, and send that to Bandai. There's, that's no fucking way. There's absolutely no way that dog's supposed to be able to kill you in one bite. I had no blood buildup. I... I that's, that does not make... There's no way. In the back of my head, I was, I was trying to tell myself, I'm like... You no, know, maybe... Maybe the dog, uh, you know, maybe you were hit by multiple dogs at the same time or something. No, there's just no way.
I see what's happening. So the dog. Nothing drop anything? It did. There's a loot right there. I can see it though. The dog goes snap, snap, snap. Really fast. Like uh like one of those little like chompy toys. Like it's like chattering teeth. It's like da 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 da. But it does that. That's yeah, that's there's no way that's fucking intentional. I'm definitely uh I'm passing that one on over to the bandai, because the dog literally instant bleeds you and it kills you. I mean, maybe it is intentional, but if it is, that's just stupid. Especially because the dogs are... Like, I die to, to, you know, I die in one hit to something like Radon? Yeah, sure. I get it. But, um... No, dogs, no. Especially a basic common enemy, whom there are multiple of, should not look at you and then instantly kill you. And you can tell what happened is the dog has a set amount of, of buildup uh, per bite. It's like, you know, let's say the dog does uh, 20, build, 20 bleed buildup per bite, for example. What's happening here is that dog's attacking, but it's doing like five rampant bites. So it's going bite, 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 in like a fraction of a second, resulting in the full, the full, I mean, it almost seems like I take, is because I'm, my damage, the damage gets rapidly multiplied and the bleed. So there's no way that's, I mean, that can't possibly be intentional. Fucking basic enemies shouldn't be able to instant kill you like that. And this ain't a fucking Cowboys under leveled situation anymore, because I got 1500 health, so. Wrapping here, Mount Gelmir is up next. Um, yeah, I don't know about that spell, man. I'm, I'm honestly, I don't know. I want to find a spell that allows me to, to boost madness stuff. Or a, uh, a seal. A seal boosting. I'll try it more, but I need a seal that boosts uh, stuff like that. And um, yeah, find out. So stay tuned. More coming your way in a bit. Is this Warhammer? Warhammer... Oh, it's a big one. That's pretty cool. I like that. Not for this build, though.